Okay, we're going to talk about currency very quickly. Uh, this is in response to my Facebook posting on it. The ringgit has hit $4.50 to one US dollar. This is bad news because we import a lot of things in Malaysia. Food import is already 60 billion a year. So what it means is if the currency drops, we're going to pay a lot more for food. But we don't only import food, we import computer games, we import services, all sort of technology goods. All these are set to increase. So we're going to have what we call inflationary pressure just from the currency losses or currency devaluation. So what we need to do, the government needs to step up. Bank Negara needs to prepare a monetary policy strategy. I have complete faith in Bank Negara. Let's hope that the Bank Negara have the power and independence to do it uh, independently. Second is, the Malaysian government has, uh, through their investment arm, have a lot of investment overseas. This should be on standby mode to come back and defend the ringgit. In other words, sell the position down, bring back the US dollar, convert to ringgit, to strengthen the ringgit. Currency is essentially a supply and demand issue. It's very, very basic, but its impact, if left unchecked, where we continue to devalue the ringgit, will have tremendous impact on Malaysians, in particular, young people, people who are struggling, B40. They all have to pay more for food and pay more for any goods they buy out there.